Studies show over the last three years, the state of Nebraska has seen a steady increase in the number of alcohol-related crashes, injuries, and deaths on its roads. What began as a steady decline in drunk driving numbers eight years ago has recently seen an upward spike. So that spike is just insane. In uh, the year of 2012, the state of Nebraska had 87 deaths on our roadways uh, in alcohol-related crashes. Uh, that's actually almost doubled from the year before. Uh, so we know that drunk driving is still a problem in our in our state across the country. Um, actually, across the country, there was a rise in drunk driving deaths everywhere. In fact, DUIs in Nebraska went up nearly 15% since the year before, a statistic that is enough to make some people change their ways. Well, I unfortunately have done it before. However, I don't anymore because I had an experience with um, losing a friend due to drunk driving um, in the past. So I've realized, and it's opened my eyes, and I've realized that it's not worth it, and a cab is way cheaper than a DUI. According to Mothers Against Drunk Driving sources, the average age of a driver who gets a DUI in the state of Nebraska is almost 33, almost 10 years older than the national average of 24. But MAD Program Assistant Sarah Draper says there's no real evidence to support why. I have, I have no reason why Nebraska is different than across the nation. Um, there could be a lot of different factors to that. Our state makeup is, is different with we have urban and rural. Uh, you know, looking at data is... Uh, overwhelming sometimes because you have so many different aspects that can go in. So the makeup of a state like New York with public transportation, with different, you know, no real rural areas, it could be so different than the makeup of the state of Nebraska. Draper says that the quote, failing to plan is a plan to fail, is her motto when it comes to avoiding situations where DUIs can become more common. The biggest thing we do to encourage people in situations like that is we want people to make a plan before they ever go out. Uh, to designate a sober driver before the first drop of alcohol is consumed, uh, that's the best way to handle it. Although the authorities will not release the location of future DUI checkpoints, a common checkpoint in the past has been here at the intersection of 33rd and Cornhusker. While some admit to breaking the habit of drinking and driving, Others were caught before deciding to change their ways. Um, I was driving home from a uh, bar where me and my friends have, uh, were drinking, and I took a turn down a one-way street going the wrong way, and there was a cop sitting right there. And he went through all the field sobriety tests, and I uh, obviously did not pass. After I got my DUI, it's been uh, much more difficult to uh, get a uh, well-paying job because um, they don't want somebody that's irresponsible. Last year, there were 190 alcohol-related driving deaths in Nebraska, a 14% increase from the year before. Now, with new awareness tactics put in place, many are hopeful that they will see a decline in those numbers moving forward. For NewsNet Nebraska, I'm Kelly Keough.